fine linen, fared sumptuously every day. There was a certain beggar. There was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was full, which laid at his gate full of sores, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dog came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the baker died, was carried of the angels of the Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died. Your wealth can't save you from death. Medical technology is not going to save you from death. Men will die. The wages of sin is death. Man will die. I don't care how many hospitals you build, how many doctors you train, what kind of tests you have. I don't care how wealthy you are. The wages of sin is death. And that's for the poor and for the rich. Wealth can't save you. Wealth can't keep you healthy. You can have the best doctors. You can have the best care. And when God says your time is up, CPR can't save you. The paddles can't save you. When God says it's time to go, and the rich man died. The rich man died. And was buried. And in hell, he lifted up his voice. He lifted up his eyes. Being in torments. The rich man died. His, his wealth could not save him. He died. And in hell he lifted up his eyes. His wealth did not get him to heaven. The rich man died and he went to hell. Your lack of riches, your abundance of riches, won't keep you from death's door. And will not get you out of heaven. You can be the richest person in all the world. And if you die without Christ, you're going to die and be buried and wake up in hell. Your riches, your fame, your identity will not keep you out of hell. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes. In hell, you still have your eyes. Your eyeballs will be with you in your soul in hell. Your soul is the very you with your body parts. And if you be blind on earth, your eyes will work in hell. You won't have glasses in hell. You'll have your eyes in hell. And 
and in hell he lifted up his eyes. Being in torments, in hell we read of a rich man. He's in hell. He was rich. He's rich no longer. He left his riches behind. You don't take it with you. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes. You got your eyeballs. And the Bible says in hell, he's tormented. Extreme pain. Extreme suffering. Well, as a rich man, where is his pharmacist? As a rich man, where is his alcohol? Where is his opioid? Where is his, where is his painkiller? Where is his opium? Where is his marijuana? Where is his tobacco? He's a rich man. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment. No relief. He had the money. But it don't do nothing for you in hell. You can't take your money, your riches, and your wealth into a place called hell. There's no emergency rooms in hell. And there are no pharmacies. There's no over-the-counter relief. How many rich people are in hell? And we'll go to hell. And enter a place of torment. His eyes are tormented. His eyes are dry and never to get lubricated again. See Abraham afar off. And Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham. The rich man was not only rich. But he said, Father Abraham. The rich man was Jewish. The rich man in hell had riches. He's of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the rich man of God's people, the Jews, still died and went to hell. I don't care what family you are of. You could be of the royalty of England. You can be of the family of President Biden. You could be known of the Trump family. You could be a well-known family. And if you die without Jesus, your family clan, your family honor, your family tree will not get you. Out of hell. The man had riches. The man had a position of Abraham's family. And he died. And he went into hell. Now that rich man of the Hebrews ended up in hell. How much you without Jesus Christ. And there's one thing that rich man have in you is the rejection of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. 
You mean he didn't ask for pain relief? You mean the moment of time that rich man had a wish, had a desire, had a need, and he says, I want mercy. There's no mercy in torment. There's no mercy in hell. There's no mercy in hell's fire. And yet the rich man of Abraham, who's tormented as any rich person soul is, poor or rich, Hebrew or Gentile, forever in heaven, Never mind the pain medicine. I want mercy. You know, as a little boy, I grew up with other little boys. And we would wrestle. We would fight. And when we got into a move or a position that we couldn't get out of, that we were helpless. In our game, we would say, Mercy! And our friend would let us go, let us free, let loose. As a child, the word mercy means, Okay, I had enough. Let go. Stop. But there's a rich man in hell who had all the luxuries on this earth and his only desire tormented in hellfire I want mercy give me mercy he didn't ask for an aspirin he didn't ask for alcohol. He says, I want mercy. That's a particular request. While we are here on this earth, and if we get into a painful situation, Mercy is the last thing we call. We call 911 and get the ambulance. We call upon the doctor. Doctor, I need medication. I'm sore. I'm pain. And that man in hell without a cell phone doesn't cry out for 911. He cries out, I want mercy. I want mercy. I don't want a doctor. I want mercy. I'm tormented. What's up, young man? Hey, girl. How you doing? Oh, I am doing awesome. Amen. How's it going? Doing good. Are you guys affiliated with a church? I go to Westside Baptist Church. On Mason? On Mason? Oh, okay. Started going there. Started going there? Yeah. And recently? Yes. Oh, cool. 